Ja. If you're joining me now, this is my first time, well, it's not the first time, it's the first time I'm doing a video where I'm on the wheel. I've had this wheel now for like 18 months, it's been stuck in a box, waiting for me just to get the right setup. I've now got the right setup, I've got my desk. Now, which I can attach it to, I've got my column, I've got my pedals, I've got my gear stick, or I can actually use it. I'm not going to be using a joystick anymore unless I'm flying a plane. <coughs> so, this is me taking a quick job on my test profile on ETS2 going to take a quick job this profile won't be there for much longer it's just as I was learning to set it up so we'll go up to Newcastle it's uh, 8.28 in the morning we'll just take this job it took me a lot of time to get everything sorted out get the wheel configured get the pedals configured at the end, you know. There you go. Rum, rum, rum. Put it into gear. The only thing I've not configured is that I don't have a hat switch. So I can check. But, but so when I'm turning left and right, I have to use the mouse to check what traffic's about. So I'm gonna go after this white car. Come on, here we go. Go, point. Check the mirror on the left hand side. Oh, this is the future now. Is uh, I have traffic in game on five. Normally set up one, it means there's hardly any traffic on the road. I have it set at five, so it makes it a bit more realistic. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go before he gets around. If he comes around, he didn't. It took me nearly a day to configure everything out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've watched videos on YouTube about setting it up. Uh, none of them were any help. I didn't do this sooner. Really don't know why I didn't do it sooner. I need to get into that right hand lane. So much easier. Oh, 
so much easier. Well, if you've looked at my previous videos, you've noticed that there's been little jerky movements like that where when I've been using a joystick, I've been, you know, um, just making slight adjustments to my steering. This is so much easier. On to the M62. I will do video showing you my room setup because it's all changed from when I was just starting out doing YouTube it's all completely different now I'm hoping things are going to get better Absolutely buzzing with this now. As you can also see with me in the bottom corner, hello! I've got my green screen set up, I've got my lights set up, I'm quite happy with how it looks. This profile what I've set up is just a test profile. Got no mods in it, uh, no weather mods, it's just the vanilla game with the, all the DLCs. It doesn't have pro mods in it, doesn't have the weather mod in it, doesn't have any trailer packs in it or anything. thing I haven't sussed out what to do is when it's um, in cruise control in a normal vehicle when you initiate cruise control then you must be able to take your foot off the accelerator completely and the car van where it drives itself well doesn't drive itself it maintains the speed what you set it at but the problem is with this is that even though I've got it set at 56 cruise control I have to keep my foot on the accelerator because if I take it off the truck comes to a stop so I don't know what I have to do for that if anybody has any suggestions then I would be happy try it out I am driving with the Logitech G920 I've got the gear shifter but it's on real automatic because trucks have more than six gears the shifter only has six gears and a reverse gear so it's in real automatic which means I have to put it forward I have to put it into gear to drive and I have to put it into another gear to reverse but I am just getting used to it
just fetch my speed down a little bit. Ah! Yeah. That's because the phone was ringing. So there you go, you've just seen my first crash. That's my wife's son that's ringing up. He always rings up at 7 o'clock every night. two things at once can I no good at multitasking I missed the last time I went up the A1M. I don't remember it being that bumpy. It had just been relayed the last time I went up it, up to Newcastle. And the reversing is so much easier as well. Keeping in lane is a lot easier. away from Newcastle it seems to have flown by I've been done a couple of times for speeding while well, I've been testing it out.
coming off of this junction so I know and then I will have to do some braking around this corner tell all the traffic behind me that I'm turning left off but I think I'm doing all right for <coughs> first real test new discoverable Newcastle on time Fuck on the time is all mine, all mine. Fuck on the time is all mine. Let me speed down. I know I'm a bit, I'm still a bit heavy because I'm left foot braking. I'm still a little bit heavy on my left foot. That Range Rover is going to pull out in front of me. I'm surprised that red car didn't pull out in front of me either. So we're nearly at our destination, your goodies. Still not 100% brilliant at parking. Oh, so I put it in reverse. truck driver by any means I'm trying to tell by this parking just try and fetch it in a little bit straighter
There we go. Take it out of reverse. Handbrake on. Turn the engine off. Detach the trailer. That's it. That's it. Tell me how I've driven. First real test. Alright. Uh, As I'm on cam, I'll maybe all goodbye. See you next time.